this is an update to my previous walk around. Wanted to do a walk around of the new rig, uh, the new 3 off rig. It now has a full upper frame. Uh, so this top frame here used to just be a spine and would, was all floppy and was not working at all. Especially when I upgraded the motors from the winter wiper motors to these 29 to 1 ratio 24 volt uh, electric wheelchair motors. Um, I'm running them currently off 12 volts, uh, just a 12 volt battery. Um, but making this upper frame a box frame made it so much stiffer. Now all of the movement from these connecting rods into this uh, cross member get transferred into the rider a lot. Focus says hi. Uh, the that's still connected to the uh, drive shaft U joint to the mid frame used to be the lower frame, which is the same exact uh, box section ladder chassis essentially, with just a couple of uh, um, side uh, pieces that are the mount for the u-joint here i had to add this cross brace here because the uh, wheels the frame was so heavy that the gap right here between the wheels uh, basically this uh, this just kept bending these screws uh, and bending these two by fours forward like that until the frame was uh, riding on the wheels so i added this two by four that should fully remedy that problem. Uh, we've added, uh, in the build video, I last showed the wiper motor trying to be used to move this frame. These two frames with a rider, the seats, all the, all the bells and whistles, way too heavy for a windshield wiper motor to actually move. So had to upgrade to one of the big 24 volt uh, windshield wiper, or uh, windshield, electric wheelchair motors excuse me and essentially uh, the bottom frame here is just a, a triangle with three two by fours and then it has a post sticking out uh, right here that is um, connecting the connecting rod from the lever arm which is mounted to the uh, hub that came with a wiper because it already has a key channel so I can use the keyway and everything uh, and the key to lock that in place and then just welded flat bar onto it cut a hole in the middle and welded a bolt uh, in the center so that way I could attach this uh, clear tubing for the potentiometer if you want this to be loose you want to be able to recenter your potentiometer if it goes off so you don't want this to be a hard mount because then recentering your potentiometer would be much more difficult uh, but since there is a ton of strain on this connection right here i built uh i had to make a cross brace right there oh, sorry real tight quarters that cross face um to help out keep this thing um stiff because again this these two frames weigh a ton and throwing it around quickly um, will move this this bottom frame and put a lot of uh, torsion on that uh, pillar there. Uh, another side uh, little note: I've actually uh, screwed three like old slippers uh, that I had that were way super worn out. Uh, so I actually use those as rubber f uh, feet to kind of keep this thing planted. Uh, make sure it doesn't move and also make sure it doesn't scratch the um, the flooring um, other than that uh, all the the bells and whistles of it are just the same still the uh, Thrustmaster T300 RS GT wheel and uh, pedals down there my CH products uh, rudder pedals the um, honeycomb Bra uh, Bravo uh, I don't have space for the Alpha anymore. I, I hard mounted the wheel, and got rid of this uh, the Thrustmaster mount. It was terrible, and the uh, Honeycomb Alpha is over there. So this will have to come off, and then the plate will go on to mount that whenever I do it. But I usually am flying with my center stick, the uh, Microsoft 
so I, Sidewinder Force Feedback 2, my throttle, the Thrustmaster Warthog, uh, just the throttle section, uh, my VR headset, the HP Reverb G2 V2, the, the version 2 of it, the Amazon uh, 7 Speed Plus Reverse Shifter is still there, the Thrustmaster T16000M is still there. Um, the electronics, if anybody is actually interested, I mean these things are, once you figure out how they work, they're actually really simple. It's basically just the Arduino up there, a breadboard for the positive and negatives, that white board right there is the breadboard for the positive and negatives. And then you come back around here, you can see the three IBT2 motor controllers. Um, the two uh, in the back, or kind of on the right side of the screen there, those have um, double uh, aluminum heat sinks and thermal paste is applied to the top heat sinks on the chips to help with cooling. So those are basically like super cooling um, for the IBT2s. Uh, and then the that one there is for the traction loss motor and it just doesn't heat up at all and so I haven't done any modifications to it yet but if you guys want to see I'll just plug it in and it'll snap to center I'm not sure how well I can capture this but I'll try uh, so we'll see if you guys can see that let me take it off the charger you get away from there and so I'm just going to plug this in on the battery and then you'll see the rig snap to center. So that's basically what it does when I plug it in. It, it levels itself and the traction loss will center itself. And it's ready for either flying or driving or drifting or whatever you want to do. Alright, thanks for joining me guys.